How you doing? Good. How's your fam? They doing great. Yeah. Yeah, the little one getting big. Yep. Yeah, he growing fast. Now. I know. Was he out here yesterday? Yeah, he was here yesterday. Yeah, I saw him. He is getting big. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Definitely. How old is he now? He 15 months. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Such a fun age. Yeah. Starting growing. to see his personality. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Doing a lot of stuff now, you know, smiling, you know, interacting, the word. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's awesome. I love it. Um, all right, well, first things first, just talk about this new line and the continuity you guys are developing here at camp. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of great guys yep. up there in the building, you know, everybody, you know, building this trust, yep. they and we working together, you know, Coach Mike, you know, he bringing a lot of stuff with Coach Andy, you know, and we putting it all together, so I think we're going to have, you know, a great offensive lineman this year, you know, and I'm just excited to see it. From, uh, how do you build upon last year? About the the season you had last year. How do you, what's your mindset coming in from performance, performance perspective for this year? Well, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I learned last year, you know, gonna play over this year. You know, it's just all about the detail, the little stuff, you know, that I made some mistakes, uh, you know, I got to correct. So, you know, all this year, I'm gonna put it all in one. So, you know, I'm expecting to have a big season. You know, I got high expectation for myself. You know, I'm just excited, you know, see what the season holds for me. What are you seeing as far as the differences between Shane's approach uh, to the offense? Say that again. What, what are some of the differences you're seeing in the approach to the offense this year? Uh, I think we're going, you know, more tempo this year, you know, more aggressive, you know, a lot of competing going on. So I think, you know, everything dealing with like a physical mindset right now. Yeah. D. Luke, we hear that a lot. Up tempo. What does that mean? Like, you know, from a lay people's perspective, what does up tempo mean? Like, yeah, play fast. You know, as soon as that ball snap, you gotta go. So you know, be ready. So up in the building, you gotta tone in, make sure your playbook right, so you can play fast and get out there and just go. And then hold you back. Is there a learning curve? Trying not to rush, right? Just to, to up tempo as opposed to trying to rush and then get. Yeah, see, you know, you got to have that mindset, that pro attitude. You got to be ready at any time. So when we give you the playbook, when the coach gave us the playbook, you know, you got to study it here. And so now you just time to put it on the field because if you don't got it now, you ain't going to have it. So it's time to go. How big of it, knowing that you're trying to get more up tempo, how important is it here in camp to get that nailed down, the communication with Ross, all of that? Well, there's a point, you know, everything start up front. We got to communicate all five, communicate with the quarterback, and just, you know, all of us got to hit on point. So communication is big, you know, both in the room. DK talked yesterday about how there's an added emphasis on, like, quick short routes to make sure the, bus, the ball gets out of Russ's hands Yeah, early. detail. You got to be on. Yeah. yeah. How, how much of an added emphasis do you feel like that is this year based on, I mean, obviously, yeah, stats out, you know, him being the most sacked quarterback. How much... Do you feel like it's an emphasis to change that? Uh, well, I can say this, that, you know, this year is a different year. Come with a whole mindset. We're going to do our part. You know, we're going to go from there. As an offensive lineman, is it hard? Like, that's not a stat you want your quarterback ever to have, right? To be sacked that many times. How yeah. personally do you take that to make sure he's not that again no. this year? Nobody don't want their quarterback to be sacked. You know, they just a bad feeling on the offensive lineman when you see the quarterback on the ground. No, just go and help him up. But you know, like I said, it's a different year. We expect big things, and you know, everybody got high expectations for us. And we're trying to hold up to the standard. I know it's a little early. What do you think the identity of this line is going to be? This year? We great, you know. I say the sky's the limit. You know, we got great group of guys up there. Like I said, Gabe, Jordan, Phil, all those guys. So you know, we're here to work. Is there a, an evolution between pass block, run block, something in the middle in terms of the up-tempo offense? Is that kind of what you now have to do? Yeah, it's some of everything, you know, just pass. If it's run, just play fast, you know, getting out the ball, initial quickness. So, you know, you just got to be on it. How'd you play 16 games in your rookie year? I, put, I just, you know, thank the man above, you know, God and just blessing me with the tools and the skills that he gave me and thankful that I went to LSU, prepared me. So, you know, transition just like that. Not too many secrets. That's one thing you took from LSU that you were able to use here. Uh, 
<laughs> Sorry. Uh, you know, I had a great office alignment coach at LSU, yeah. and you know, just like at LSU here, nothing different. You know, everything about Capine and Coach O, uh, coach with Copete. So you know, he got the same style of football over there, and we just you know put it together. And now I'm blessed to be here under Coach Pete, and you know, the same organization, you know, similar, but you know. It's all about competing. What did you do in the off season to prepare? Uh, I prepared. Or not prepare. <laughs> yeah, I trained at LSU. You know, I went back home, trained uh -huh. there, did a lot of running, you know, a lot of stuff, you know, dealing on the football field and just techniques in the weight room. You know, I did some of everything. It's like humidity, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like this right here, you know, this is a blessing right here. So guys don't know how lucky they are. I got to go back to the pot. I got to go back to the king. What's his name? Say that again. Now you, your child's name? Oh, my child, DJ. Okay. Damian Jr. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's okay. my little man. You're a little king. Yeah. He next. He next. <laughs> hey, what's, what's Coach Andy been like now? What's his style? Great. Great coach. You know, he always on detail. You know, the little thing, you know, if I got to, you know, fix my hand, place anybody, you know, D. Lou, do that. Someone do that. So, you know, he always on the detail. He going to coach it. So, you know, he's a great coach to be around. And I'm thankful for him, you know, just being here, you know, coaching me. So, you know, I'm ready to learn. Thanks. Thanks. What do you look back at your rookie year? What, how do you evaluate that? Where did you start? And what, what did you like about what you were able to do last year? Last year, you know, I came in, you know, just trying to look, listen, and learn, you know. Trying to take in much that I can, you know, watch the vets, Dwayne, White Brandon, watch those guys, you know, how they play the ball, Mike, and just, you know, trying to take in everything so it can help me later. So just looking back there, you know, I'm telling my old self, D. Lou, here we go. You know everything, no excuses, so here we go right here. And you learned how to snap a football too, right? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> you never done that, right? Nah, I've never done it, but you never know what happened. You know, glad, you know, that, I, like I said, God blessed me with the tools and the skills. You know, I'm going to put it to use. Was it, was it like Wednesday or Thursday that week when you first started? Oh, yeah, it was like, what, we had a Thursday game, yeah. like a two-day. Oh, that's right, like Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. two days, had yeah. to learn everything, so, you know, had to get right. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate you.